All right, so welcome everyone. Welcome to HDQ. We have this awesome game called Neo 2, or Neo 2, if you want to be a bit more specific with the <laughs> pronunciation. And yeah, we're starting this. And while I'm starting the the file, I'll explain that. What? All right. Hello and welcome to Awesome Games Done Quick 2022 online. First up uh, run, we have Neo 2 by Axel with the Any% Percent Featherless run. We're gonna get that going in just a second while we get set up. I have a couple of donations I'd like to read for y'all. To kick us off, we have a $1,000 donation from Mott that says, how fast can we break the donation total from 10 years ago? Can we do it before the runs even start? Let's see. Thank you so much for that. We have $20.22 from Chair Morg that says 2022 for the start of AGDQ 2022. Sad we can't still meet up in person to watch, but hope everyone has a continued safety and joys runs. All right, it looks like we're ready to go. Here is Neo 2 Any% Percent Featherless by Axel Sango. Take it away. All right, welcome everyone. This is Neo 2 Any% Percent Featherless. Um, for anyone wondering who, uh, what uh, featherless means, it means that we are not allowed to do All right, it looks like we're experiencing technical difficulties, but we'll be right back. And while we wait for Axel to set up, we have a couple more donations to get through. We have $50 from Geldine that says, Let get, let's get those bonus games going. That's right, our first bonus run is actually the run right after this for Metroid Prime Hunters. We have Metroid Prime Hunters First Hunt by Mr. Shasta. So if you want to see that run, make sure you get those, bo or those donations in. We have $25 from Matt Cow Disease that says, first time donor, long time watcher. Let's go, speedsters. We have $50 from Demon Kizu that says, always willing to help donate to a great cause. And this year is no different. Good luck to the runners this week. Thank you so much for that. We have $25 from Chatter Cheese that says, couldn't be happier to send some money off for AGDQ's cancer beating quest. Thanks so much for giving us something to look forward to and support. Well, thank you so much for that donation. All right, AGDQ 2022, we're ready to start. We got Neo 2, Any% Percent Featherless by Axel Sango. All right. All right, welcome everyone from AGDQ. This is Neo 2, it's an awesome game, otherwise you wouldn't be here. And we're gonna do near 200% featherless on PS5. For anyone wondering what featherless means, it means that we are not allowed to use some 
uh, ninjutsu spells that are very powerful called feathers. And yeah, that's basically the, the main idea behind this category. And yeah, I'm gonna be using the Maeda clan for the for the speed run. That's the only thing that is uh, kind of outside of uh, what you are gonna be able to see in the run. And I'll explain most of the mechanics as soon as possible um, because there's a lot to a lot of details to use. Also, this is a uh, campus plush. It's gonna watch over chat as well. And yeah. The run will start in about 15 seconds. Mm. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so we're in the interim, which is the beginning area. Uh, we're gonna switch to low stands and uh, to the other main uh, weapon. We're gonna select uh, the sword and the axe. Sword is gonna be mainly used for movement. The axe is gonna be used for damage. And we're gonna get the Makami spirit, which has the root Yokai shift form. And we're gonna leave this place and remove that pop-up. Um, so this is the remastered version on PS5. So the loads are pretty fast in comparison to other versions, unless you have a really fast PC on the PC version. And yeah, we're on the first mission. This uh, game has uh, seven regions for about uh, three main missions each. We're going to do the main missions. Uh, we're going to focus on gathering some uh, some elements uh, like uh, spirit stones and uh, anima items. I'll get on to that as well in a moment. And I'll remove my armor because it's not really useful at the moment and it was wearing me down a little bit. So it's better without it. And okay, so this game has, as you can see, an HP bar, uh, a bar that goes up and down, or no, left and right, I guess, uh, which is the key bar, similar to a stamina bar, but with more nuances. And then below that is the anima bar. The anima bar is gonna be used for Jokai abilities and brute, well, burst counters, rather. And Besides that, we also have uh, three stances, low, mid, you know, uh, low stance, middle stance, and high stance. Um, low stance is for movement and um, evasion. Mid stance is uh, balance, and high stance is uh, power stance, basically. Okay, so this is the dark realm right here. We're on the dark realm where our Kirakobri is uh, reduced by quite a bit, but uh, everything Yokai is stronger and we'll also get some benefit from that at some points. But yeah, we're on to the first boss. The first boss is gonna be Mizuki. It's like a horse demon with a cleaver. And right now we do not have any kind of skills. We need to uh, build our proficiency for that. So we're gonna do high stance strong attacks for this fight. That was not a good start. It's fine, I'll just heal. All right, so this should be good. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, I'm doing a key pulse right there to recover my key and also cancel an animation, like the animation of the attack in this in this case. We're gonna use that later. And this is the effect of the Myla clan, where when I'm grappling, uh, the enemy gets a defense reducement. You know, I, rem I remove his defense by a lot. And now we're gonna grapple and finish the fight. If I didn't finish the fight by grappling, I would have to do another grapple, so we skip that. Okay, so that's the first boss. Pretty easy. We got the Mizuki Soul Core. That's gonna be our first uh, Jokai ability. I'm gonna do a little bit of menu setup. Just to get rid of pop-ups and uh, make things a bit faster later. All right. This is Tokichiro. We don't like him. It's okay. Yeah, we do like him. <laughs> okay. So the Masaru, we're not gonna use the Masaru right now, but later on it's gonna be useful. And we're gonna equip the Mizuki Soul Core right there. Skip the cutscene and go to the next mission. Now that I uh, got on with a basic 
idea of the, of the combat mechanics and all that stuff. We're gonna complicate it a little bit more. Um, there's the um, magic in this game, and the magics that we're gonna use are gonna be the mainly the Pity Talisman, but also the Water Talisman and the Lightning Talisman. Um, those are gonna buff our weapon. And uh, in the case of Purity, when they, uh, well, uh, all of those like uh, apply that element to the enemy, right? And depending on the resistance, they will uh, get debuffed. So when that happens, this is a mandatory enemy, by the way. Um, when that happens, they are gonna get uh, a specific debuff and debuff depending on the element. So in the case of Purity, uh, they will take more key damage. In the case of Water, they will take more damage. I'm gonna attack a bit more before that, there we go. And in the case of Lightning, uh, they're gonna get uh, movement reduction. Okay, we do not really care about that um, Soul Core, so we're gonna avoid it. It's a really good Soul Core, but for the purposes of the, of the run, we're not gonna be using it. I'm gonna get some uh, proficiency by killing these Gakis right here. There we go, we got all the proficiency, so now we can get a uh, skill point, which we're gonna use for um, Heaven and Earth, or first skill for the for the axe. Speaking of axe, I'm actually gonna change it to also like the better one that I got. Not the hammer. Um, hammers do more key damage, but less damage, so in the run we do not like hammers, actually. So we'll avoid those, uh, unless uh, we are really bad in terms of uh, a good axe. Okay, so over here, we're gonna get an item while we avoid these enemies. Okay, yeah. Not my best job at doing that, but it's fine. Okay, I'm going through the fire, it's okay, this is fine. And we're gonna get our first uh, point uh, for magic, which we're gonna get by uh, getting a Omnium Mage lock. Okay, there we go. And while we open that, we learn the Heaven and Earth for the axe. It's gonna be one of the main uh, skills on the on the run. All right. So on this shrine, we are not gonna level up just yet. We're gonna get a Purification Talisman, which is pretty much the most useful one. We're gonna uh, slot in a couple of those, and we're gonna go to the second boss of the run, which is Enenra. And if everything goes well, this is even if I do perfect execution, it's still RNG, so I might not get it. But if everything goes well, I'll defeat it in 20 seconds. Let's see. Okay, turn nerf. Unlock, root counter. Okay, I didn't get uh, all the key. That's actually pretty bad, it's fine. It is fine. We're gamers. We know what to do. More or less. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit sketchy right here. Got really, really bad RNG for this fight. It's fine. So yeah, this fight went really, really slowly. It is what it is. I'm gonna defeat the boss right now. So yeah, sadly you couldn't uh, see the, the fastest threat. But it's RNG dependent, on, like I said. Alright, we're gonna be updating our sword uh, a little bit. Just, uh, just to keep up uh, the, the sword, uh, the sword a bit uh, more fresh. Um, next up is the, a mission uh, that is the one that I practiced the most before marathons. <laughs> uh, so hopefully that won't go too badly. Uh, but yeah, this is the, the, the first. 30 minutes of the game, I would say, are uh, probably the most concerning ones in terms of uh, running this game, or this category in particular. 
Uh, but yeah. All right. So in this mission, we're gonna be fighting a big snake with a bunch of uh, poison everywhere. And it tends to be a wall for uh, a lot of players in the first time that they play uh, this game. So hopefully, it won't go too badly. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna get the safety shrine anyway, so it doesn't matter if I get hit there. Got the travel amulet for later. Um, I have another spot to get another one, but I like to get that one just so I already have one just in case. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get more spirit stones. I used one just to set up the Amrita um, meter. Amrita um, meter is the meter that says 26 right now in the top left. And it's gonna be full in this uh, boss fight, unless things go really badly. This is Campus. It's like the plushie rider. It gives us anima a region, and uh, it also attacks the enemies, so it's really good. And let's see. Love with purity. I'm getting the fight. Okay, we're gonna start with Heaven and Earth. Peoples, roll. Attack once. Avoid that, uh, Mizuki. Heaven and Earth. There we go, that's good. I grapple and buff again, just to refresh uh, the purity buff. Heaven and Earth, Mizuki. All right, that's not particularly good, honestly. But it's fine. All right. So with this, we're gonna actually engage the full strat. We're gonna grapple, pop Joker shift, guardian spirit attack, kipples, grapple, and finish the fight with the Mizuki. There we go. Fights are not going specifically fast, but um, yeah, it's fine. So we got Tokagamaru uh, and a Bandit Axe. Um, bandit Axe is more important than Tokagamaru, but uh, I messed up a little bit the, the menu. Okay, so next up, we're gonna uh, actually use and equip this um, Soul Core right here, the Jatsu no Kami Soul Core, and replace the, Mizu the Mizuki one. I'm gonna change region, and I'll do a Dojo mission, which is gonna be uh, important for the skills that we're gonna use. Uh, now we have some time to uh, uh, read uh, stuff. Do we have anything to read? Absolutely, yes. We have $25 from Miri Oki that says, Glad for GDQ to be back and running. Let's get our dose of nanomachines, rain, and repeating exposition. We also have $20 from Sir Dan1987 that says, It's that lovely time of year again. Let's get this event started. I'll be here all week. Let's hope this loop doesn't affect this run now. All right. Uh, one more. Alrighty, we have $250 from Marcus that says, let's get this AGDQ off right. Here's to a great week and a lot of great runs. All right, thank you. We're on to the uh, first mission of the second region. Remember, there are seven regions in this game. And I'll be explaining a bit, something a bit more complicated, uh, but I'm gonna do a backflip in front of Maya Natoshie, and he's so impressed that he lets us through and we can progress through the level. All right, so now I'm gonna do the first level up and I'm gonna get Flax 2, which I'll explain in a moment, and I'll get uh, uh, Water and Lightning, which I already explained. Uh, I didn't explain one thing, uh, but I'll get on with it uh, a bit later. Uh, first, let's talk about Flax 2. So Flax is the mechanic of a game where if you uh, have the skill for it, meaning Flax or Flax 2, 
you can keep pulse and switch stance and that would uh, recover more key. And if you switch stances again to a new stance uh, and you have Fluxu, then you recover even more key. So we're gonna use that a lot uh, in order to attack uh, more often. So we don't have to wait for the key to regen or anything like that. So we're gonna get 11 constitution, eight magic and six skill. I'm gonna get Flux to and Water Talisman and Lightning Talisman. All right. So um, you already saw the confusion, but basically when you have two elements or two debuffs uh, that are from elements, uh, you will proc confusion. And what confusion does is uh, on your guys it will prevent them from recovering a uh, key and transitioning fa uh, between phases. And in humans, uh, they will actually uh, have less key recovery. But on top of that, for both of them, they'll take more damage. So it's really good. All right. So we're gonna uh, shoot Imagawa in the head. Attack him once, uh, final blow, then heaven and earth. First counter that. Follow him. And continue with the shenanigans. Alright. More heaven and earth. And I'll do another grapple. One more should do it. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna start updating my stuff a little bit. So we got a bit more uh, defense. Because starting from now uh, onwards, uh, we want to get a bit more defense just uh, for safety. Because the amount of RNG in this game is uh, quite big, uh, so things can get sketchy really fast, and you don't want to <laughs> die suddenly. So yeah, onwards to the second uh, mission of this uh, region. And we're gonna see um, something quite interesting that was actually... we started using uh, in runs very recently, which is... Uh, Key pulse animation cancelling. Uh, you will see one application in a moment of that. Okay, attack. And of course, get unlucky. There we go. Okay, so you saw it right now. I got very unlucky, uh, so the enemy actually got me before I could do it, but yeah. I attack to make me able to keep pulse, and then I start interacting with the with the lever. And before the animation plays completely, and I just uh, I just keep pulse to cancel the animation. Okay, so I learned more uh, skills right there, and mainly just passives, um, nothing too uh, super interesting but uh i guess the, the biggest one would be uh get more uh, key recovery on the dark room it's pretty good um i'll do i'll do the animation console once again this time i won't get uh, interrupted this flitting garden amulet is really good for a boss uh, in the next uh, region I'm gonna get some more items. As you can see, I cancel that, and the shortcut is enabled. So now, if things go south, then I can just go to the boss quickly. Um, okay, so this is Kamaitachi. I like to call him being Weasel. He's a weasel, goes very fast, so it's fitting. All right, so Heaven and Earth on that attack. Otherwise, I start to strong attacks. There we go. Grapple. This is pretty good. Gonna get away, buff, and do another heaven and earth. Find that purity. 
can. Not great RNG, but it should be. No. Okay, of course. He didn't do the thing. Oh, okay. That's, uh, that's funny. Okay, so one of the things about this game is that at least 99% of the times, uh, you cannot hit uh, through walls and they cannot hit you through walls. And trees also count as walls. So that's what happened right there. I felt uh, I felt the blood counter, and at the same time the the boss uh, felt uh, his grab attack because uh, a tree was in the way. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right. So in the, in this next mission, I'll do some more menuing as well. Okay, we, we're not gonna do any more dodges. We already uh, are gonna get everything that we're gonna need. But yeah, that, that was the Adept Dojo getting unlocked. Um, so there's a... Yeah, there's a, a elevator coming up and we're gonna use that to set up most of uh, our stuff for the rest of the run. In terms of like uh, items and also learn some skills and whatnot. And uh, this upcoming boss is actually our evil twin, so to speak. And it's normally not a big issue, but it can easily it can easily uh, give you terrible, terrible RNG all of a sudden. And you die very, very fast, so I'll definitely take the, the shrine for this. Okay, gonna get this and that. Go. Use five of this. Set the shortcut for that. There we go. Just three stones. Chow laminate. And the anima items. There we go. Just checking my arrows. Because sometimes you get an arrow, a regular arrow, before you use the the ball for the first time. And because um, the, the ball is going to be useful later on on some fights. And if you do that, then the first arrow that you're gonna shoot is gonna be a normal arrow, and those are not the ones that we want right now. Okay, so I'm gonna get this safety shrine because of that. This is the slowest safety shrine that I'm gonna take, probably. Uh, but it's very important that I get it if I, because if I die, uh, it's a humongous um, time loss in this mission. All right. I'm gonna get another item right here for more resources. I'm gonna be using that uh, yokai shift uh, often. You know, in the dark realm again. Okay, and I come in here, there's a um, yokai popping. There we go. You, if, uh, if you do it properly, then you can just uh, go through the, the yokai popping out without getting staggered. So we're in a path with purity. Let's see what happens. I stand strong. Okay, yeah, this is uh, one, one of the memes that uh, this boss can do. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. Not, not very comfy with this RNG. Okay, there we go. Should be fine. We have a, a pretty good axe as well. One, two, brute counter. One, two, brute counter. Also, that was terrible, terrible. Okay, this is actually really bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be better. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna lose a lot of uh, things for that. That was very, very unlucky. You know, it's the thing with marathons, you get unlucky. So yeah, this game saves every time that you rest at the shrine. Uh, so this, uh, that's where I pop right now. You have the correct one, right? Okay. So yeah, I looked uh, 
sketchy at the start, then it looked good, and then suddenly it went terrible because uh, the boss decided to do the windstorm, uh, which I don't think I've ever seen the boss do at that moment of the fight. So yeah, not great. Yeah, hopefully you will see a more normal fight. a lot of memes lots of memes all right so we have some time for donations absolutely we have $25 from Moses unspoken that says Neo 2 is easily the best action of our generation and it's amazing to see it being run this fast with this much skill kudos to Axel keep up the great work dude We Thank have you, a $300 you. donation from Sire Salty that says, AGDQ once again, way to go and congrats to Axel for starting off the event so well. Good luck to all the runners and thank you. Donation will be doubled by my employer. Right, thank you. So yeah, I didn't, uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead, one more. All right, we have $15 from Donami that says, so hyped for this week, I'll gladly ruin my sleep schedule for this. Good luck to all the runners, and I'm ready for an exciting GDQ as always. All right. So I didn't want to rely on uh, quitting out because, you know, it's not it's not the best uh, thing to do. <laughs> it's it's completely not normal, like this is still like, a, like an actual uh, submittable run, right? Uh, but, you know. I kind of wanted to avoid that. It's it's not exactly fast to do. But you know, on PS5 it's faster than on other platforms. And yeah, I'm going to be updating my armor right now. And as you may have noticed, uh, now we have the, uh, the ability to get uh, two uh, Guardian Spirits. And the second one is going to be the Masaru. Which is going to be a Feral Spirit. It's gonna be useful on some fights. And the thing with this mission is that um, there's this boss called Tataremoke, which is kinda uh, hunting you down a little bit or on areas, something like that. And um, that gaze right there, that um, kinda like uh, light following a certain path. If you step on that light, uh, everything turns into dark realm and the orbs start following you and everything is awful. So yeah, <laughs> you want to avoid that one. We're gonna get a really important item uh, from Mumio, uh, the girl that I just talked to, which is the clay bell of beckoning. We're not gonna be using it right now, but later on, especially uh, close to the end of the game, we're gonna be using it on certain spots. Okay, so we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna get a 10 heart and 9 courage. All right. And change guardian spirit to Masaru right here, there's. And use as inspiriting gem. There we go. All right. 
So now we're gonna see a uh, pretty neat strat, I would say. <clears throat> right as soon as the we see the boss, we use the Garden Spirit Talisman. And we get close to the... There we go. Sorry. <laughs> It's a lot of things happening at the same time, and it's a bit sketchy to talk about everything. Welcome. Anyways, what happened there is, um, it got debuffed with fire, then I dashed into the... Mm, actually, I don't, I don't want that hammer, I want the axe. I dashed into a, a barrel of purity, which also staggered the boss and buffed my uh, weapon. And then I used that to uh, apply purity to the boss and end up staggering again. And then using the Jatsu no Kami to bring down the boss so we can do some um, Pebble and Earth and then grapple with the Jokai Shift. It's a very, very fast fight if everything goes well. Thanks to confusion. All right. So right here, we're gonna use a couple of these plant and plant fruits, and uh, we're gonna try to avoid getting staggered, just like before. But this one is a bit tougher. Uh, and there's a bridge where uh, some skeletons are gonna pop. And let's see if I do the setup properly. No, no. But, you know, at least I, I saved enough key so I didn't get fully staggered. All right. We've got some more items or the resources. And you have, a, you have already seen it, but um, in brute form, in the brute Jokai shift, um, you get the ability to parry attacks, and we're gonna be using that a lot in this next fight. So it's just, stay tuned for Parry City. Population Nagarama Otaka. Alright, so we're gonna shoot this guy. It's not super likely that he is gonna interrupt us or anything, it's actually very unlikely. But there is the chance, so... Knowing my luck, I prefer to just shoot. Okay. Some more items, and we're gonna use uh, another sprinting gem right here to set up our Amrita meter for the Yoka shift. You can change to the bow again. And right at the start of the fight, we're gonna buff. Okay, this is good. That's the attack that you wanna see at the start. There we go. That's good, okay. So you can shift grapple, root counter, parry. One, two. Three, parry, Yatsu no Kami, parry, one, two, three, Yatsu no Kami, one, two, three, grapple, third counter, parry, one, two, three, parry, Yatsu no Kami, and he's done. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna actually change to the axe. Is it that so it deals more damage? Um, that fight should have been slow. Um, I mean faster. But yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do another skip in this uh, mission. But before I got, uh, I get to that, we have a bit of time for a couple of missions. 
Alrighty, we have $10 from the Magic Man that says, hello everyone, it's great to see this awesome event. Can't wait to see this awesome run of Neo 2. My donation's going towards the bonus game incentive. We always need more GDQ. We have $50 from Simsy that says, I worked and studied 70 hours this week. A Neo 2 run is a great way to call it a day slash week. Enjoy the coming week, my friends. All right, so I got some uh, sacred uh, arrows right there that are going to be useful in some fights later. And next up, uh, I'm going to get this Rhine because this boss is probably, the, I would say it's probably, the, as it is right now, the most difficult boss of the run. Or the one that can be the most difficult. So, you know, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, Safely, for sure. Okay. So I'm gonna do um, not the fastest version, uh, but uh, I'll do a pretty fast escape right now. There we go. a bit slow menu it's okay there we go so we we'll use that to skip that part of the of the level i got some more skills i got titanic strength really useful let's get the cuts in and buff right at the start block avoid the first attack all right Set up. There we go. Uh, Titanic strength right here. As you can see, I'm also doing some blocks. Have it on earth. Um, normally, I would buff with uh, with some lining, but um, that was not a good setup for it. So it's fine. Okay. Oh, okay. More for the nerf. Okay, sadly you were not able to see the the full strat, but it's fine. You can do some confusion strats uh, if you have the if you are a bit luckier than I am, I guess. <laughs> Okay, that concludes the third region, and we're on to the fourth region. And on the first mission of that region, uh, we're gonna fight two bosses. It's gonna be the first double boss um, mission. Not at the same time, thankfully. <laughs> but yeah, one after the other. <clears throat> so, uh, one of the best properties of um, Titanic Strength, which is the skill that I was using every now and then on that fight, is that besides on as Nagamaza, because it has its own gimmick, it's an unparable skill, and it also uh, it's effective on every stance and it's very quick to use. So it's going to be very useful on some boss fights, especially the human boss fights. Okay, so in this mission, everyone likes to shoot. So we're gonna try to not um, to not get shot down. Okay, so this uh, this uh, enemy right here is gonna be RNG heavy. Okay, of course. Okay, I got pretty bad RNG, but I managed to survive. Um, I got, I don't know if it's the worst RNG or the second worst RNG that you can get there. But the one that you want is the, is the one where she pops the, the cannon. Because then you get close to her and she takes it away and she sh takes longer to shoot. Um, so yeah, that didn't happen. I'm gonna get another item right here. 
I'm gonna get past this Ubume, also known as the Jokai who screams a lot. So all of these enemies, uh, except for the yokai enemies of course, uh, are from the Saika clan and we're gonna fight their boss in a moment. Not that one. Alright. So we're gonna level up um, to 12 skill, 10 courage. And rest on stamina. There we go. Uh, 12 skill is going to be useful for uh, the set of armor that we're going to stick with uh, for the rest of the run, starting from the next mission. It's going to uh, uh, allow us to get 5% uh, extra damage. It's pretty neat. Yeah, next up is uh, Saika Magoichi. And we're gonna be using water against him. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Not a good start, but it's fine. Just Saika being playful, if that's all. Okay, there we go. Look okay, at Shift Grapple. One, two. Of course. Okay. <laughs> ah, no, I can only laugh at my bad luck, honestly. It's so funny. <laughs> All right. So Titanic Strength is the main reason why I I can continue this fight uh, quite relatively easy. Um, it's just a slow. But, you know, this was not uh, the way the run, or not the run, the, the fight was supposed to go. That's for sure. Alright. Okay, so next up we have uh, <laughs> one of my least favorite bosses in the whole game. Um, He's called Gyuki, but I like to call him uh, the Tinder Lord. Uh, spent a long time in the mountains perfecting his swiping technique. Okay. Okay, start, I guess. Okay. So, Yokai. No, not Yokai. It's <laughs> Jatsuno Kami. Alright, that's good. Grapple, um, if I can, thank you. More heaven and earth. There we go, that's an Okami. And we change to lightning so we can confuse Yuki. And that's the fight. Bit sketchy, but you know, it's alright. They get Mud Spinner too. I don't, I don't need that, that's for the DLCs. Um, life. When we get this, we get damage boost to stamina. And not Masterful Slice, apparently. Um, I'll fix that later. Alright. Okay, we got a Helm Splitter Axe, that's pretty good. And this next uh, mission is um, has one of my favorite bosses, 
uh, for several reasons. And this is uh, the mission that I'm not gonna get any safety strands on because honestly, it kind of messes up the setup. Um, it's not a hard fight, uh, except the very start of it. Uh, you'll you'll see, you'll see. It's it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. I'm gonna get the new axe. I haven't done that. Right, so everything is on fire. This is a Honoji temple. I didn't explain anything of the lore, uh, but honestly, there's so much to talk about the game that uh, lore is uh, a bit too much <laughs> to add on top of that. All right. So I'm going through the blue fire without taking any damage. Can you guess why? Because I have a scampus. Yeah, I know, it doesn't make sense, <laughs> but it, it's great. That's how it works. Scamp like, cats are really strong. They are overpowered, I would say. Okay, I'm actually very low on Umbrita items. That is not cool. Should be okay. I mean, it's okay, but, you know. It's not ideal. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be updating my armor as quickly as I can. Buy parts. Okay. Gonna counter that. Open this and switch to the. Shirohami, I didn't explain it, but Shirohami gives uh, the Jatsu no Kami spirit, no, no spirit, uh, Joker ability, uh, poison property. And when you have uh, Jatsu no Kami, every time that you hit an enemy that's poisoned, you deal more damage. Now we're gonna grapple, and we're gonna slap. One, two, three. Cables, grapple. Now we're gonna use the snake. And we're gonna finish the fight. Yeah, uh, for some reason, uh, when you use certain yoga abilities or uh, you do the brute counter after doing the, the, the brute grapple, you're able to, to just reset the, the stagger uh, status or the down status actually from the boss. Uh, in this case, Kasha is the only one that I that where that all, always happens every time that you do that. And yeah, you just uh, keep grappling. It's pretty cool. Okay, we can rip some stuff. Absolutely, we have twenty five dollars from Ang <clears throat> Angry Tater that says, "So excited to start twenty twenty two off right with some speed running and donating to charity." Hope everyone watching at home is ready to speedrun some donation records. We also oh. have... Oh, be ready to yeah, go. Yeah, just, just go ahead. <laughs> all right, we have $50 from King of Mischief that says, this is my favorite time of the year. Thank you to all the runners who make this such a great event. All right, so next up, I'm gonna I'm gonna be using Kasha, um, meaning the, the Kasha Soul Core for the first time in the run. To break a crystal. Kasha Soul Core is actually really good um, because it's not only able to, to give us, um, you know, a, a really good Jokai ability, but it also uh, buffs, our, um, buffs our movement when absorbing Mamrita. And also, um, and also, like heals us when uh, when you when we hit enemies uh, with a with a, with a, with a soul core. All right, so we're gonna get some more items, and we're gonna see the first instance of using them. 
the ball at the start of the fight. Uh, you'll see why in a moment. And yeah, I did a, a small level up there, which is not a planned one, but it's for some reason and the, and the levels are not really matching what it, what they should be. So yeah, one, two. He has spirit on. <coughs> I'm gonna dodge that. Switch to Shirohami and start doing some more Terror Nerve and Grapple. Now we're gonna parry this. Bird counter. I didn't explain them, but um, the red attacks are the burst attacks, which are the attacks that you can counter with a bird counter or uh, burst counter, technically. All right, and we got a uh, Ariamen Sukuna Axe. That's gonna be pretty nice, nice because normally when, when I get a uh, an axe here, it's stronger than the one that I get by default. Because they always give you a, an axe uh, as a reward for completing this mission. Okay, so that concludes the fourth region. We're moving onwards to the fifth region. And now we have more um, slots for the, for the Yokai abilities. So now we can have two big uh, soul cores, like for example Yatsunokami and Kasha, or Yatsunokami and Ryomen Sukuna, in this case, of uh, Shirohami. This is another... Uh, oh, this is gonna be another main mission where we're gonna fight two bosses in the same mission. And I also didn't explain it, but uh, the sword... Uh, on low stands, uh, for some reason, is faster than all the other weapons when you start um, uh, low stance dashing. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna take the other path. I'm just gonna take the shrine. Uh, I messed up a little bit there. It's okay. I'm gonna take the shrine. I got too close to the Yoki. Hold it again. The jockey is the, uh, that enemy right there. Alright. So this is the fastest path uh, than the one that I was gonna take before getting hit. <laughs> and yeah, everything is on fire here as well. So the first boss that we're gonna fight in this mission is gonna be Mataza or Maeda Toshida. <clears throat> Maeda Toshida. We're gonna start the fight by buffing with water and you're gonna see a um, peculiar thing that you can do with this... Uh, oh, in, in, in this case with Dream and Sukuna Axe, but um, particularly with all the corruption-based weapons. Let's see. So you have applied water already. Let's see if I can apply something else. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna switch to the sword and back to the axe. And that uh, lets us apply confusion to the boss. And yeah, basically that uh, destroys the boss uh, faster. I refreshed my... Uh, what is it called? Um, sentience bar meter on the axe uh, for this next fight. Um, the way that works is that um, the sentience bar meter fills up uh, when you uh, when you do uh, you know when you attack enemies and whatnot, it, it fills up, and when it uh, gets to the very top of the meter, when, you, when, the, when the meter gets filled, then uh, the corruption-based buff uh, is applied, and it will overwrite everything. So I wanted to avoid that happening too early. OK, 
Okay, so yeah, this is Shibata Katsuya. We're gonna do Heaven and Earth and uh, some Yatsuno Kami. There we go, that should be a good setup. Go Heaven and Earth. Alright. That was a bit sketchy, but it's fine. A grapple, and now we're gonna switch to, this, uh, to the uh, to the water, and we're gonna prop confusion. More snake, and the fight is over. You just that uh, um, completes this mission, and next next up we're gonna fight uh, our good friend uh, Tokichiro in the next mission. Yes, yes, go ahead. Alrighty, we have $10 from Ariel that says, Axel, you're doing amazing. The fact that you are calmly explaining the run while doing it and making it look effortless is incredible. You are a natural. Go, 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 go. Thank you, Ariel. Tell us who Ariel. Very nice. We also okay. have $250 from Salomar that says, go, go, go. Let me do some math. Okay, uh, I think I'm fine. But yeah, this I'm very low on numbered items. It's not what I'm used to. Um, well, yeah, it's, it's gonna be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna dash past this guy. Hopefully, there we go. Normally, I would be buff with uh, with numbered items. Uh, you know, from you know the speed buff from, from Absorbing Amrita, but I had to calculate uh, how much Amrita I'm actually gonna have because I'm so low. Like this is, <laughs> I'm getting unlucky on so many fronts. <laughs> it's it's kind of unbelievable. So I get 50, then 25, and I think 25 from this as well. Yeah, there we go. So I barely have enough. Um, just as a the lower limit. Okay, we're gonna buff with uh, water, and we're gonna start the fight with uh, the same strat as Imagawa from the second region. We're gonna shoot. Look at in the head. There we go. One quick attack. Final blow. High stance strong attack. There we go. So that was not great because. He started doing some parry spam, and when he does that, uh, he's, for whatever reason, not able to be uh, guard broken. But you know, it's fine. That finishes the fight. Got a holy axe. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna switch to that axe actually because I'm gonna benefit. Uh, there's one particular thing about um, uh, corruption-based uh, weapons is that when they get the corruption buff, um, you don't really do like a corruption damage. You do a, cor a corruption build-up, but it, it just buffs your actual uh, physical damage. So it's kind of interesting. Oh, okay. It's okay, you don't need that. <laughs> I I guess I didn't press R1 uh, fast enough. Okay, we're gonna get this item as well. So for the record, uh, we are fine with uh, Ambrit items, but normally I have more leeway. That's what I was saying earlier. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this actually. Buff. So that crystal was preventing us from entering this boss fight, and 
We're gonna start this uh, boss fight by shooting him and hopefully not get bad RNG. Of course. Okay, it's fine. I don't have any more arrows to invest on this boss, but that's fine. Come on. Don't, not me like this. I like to call him the Kappa Man. I'm sure you cannot guess why. Okay. So yeah, it's one of the most hated um, bosses in this run. Because um, he doesn't like being consistent. But it's fine. He is done for. Okay, I got a... Uh, okay, let's just talk about that, I guess. Um, this is not the board. <laughs> I went the other way. Uh, I got a hidden skill called uh, Second Water or something. I, I actually forgot the name. Um, bosses have a chance of... Uh, some bosses have a chance of dropping some hidden skills. Um, so yeah, I got quote unquote lucky enough to get one. Um, actually unlucky because it just uh, wastes my time a little bit. So we're gonna uh, trigger the boss. We're gonna fight later by breaking this, uh, you know, trigger his attacks and uh, force him to break that barrier so we can progress through. We're gonna get another scampus right here. I'm gonna get the masterful slice actually. Mm. It's gonna be very interesting and important to use later. Alright, so we use the fatal counter to high frame through the boulders over here. So we don't have to wait. I'm gonna get this uh, shrine just in case. Alright. So this next up is a gimmick boss, it's a Daedarabochi, we need to break uh, his knuckles in order to bring him down uh, progressively. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna use Kasha and Mad Spinner too, mainly. And then do some Jatsuna camera right there to finish that arm. And progress through the head. And maybe we can get a, a two cycle, that would be ideal. So yeah, like um, using Yokai skills in this fight uh, makes it so things break more easily. By things I mean the fingers. So I think that's actually a two phase for your two cycle, I think. Should be. Yes, it is. Good. Now we're gonna grapple to finish the fight. And we're gonna get uh, some more passives. And more moon for the sword. Okay, get this, please. Thank you. Okay, good. We got a Kintaro Axe, that's actually really good. That's one of the better axes that you can get at this point of the game. And now we're back to the interim because we are actually dead. <laughs> but you know, don't worry, we can use the Dragon Balls and Resurrect, no problem. What do you mean there's no Dragon Balls in this game? Have you seen the next mission? Okay, so we're gonna head to Biodo Inn, which is my favorite location in the game, actually. It's really, really cool, really mystical. That finishes the fifth region, and we're moving on to the sixth region, which is probably the longest one, I think. And probably also the hardest one. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna do an actual uh, interesting skip. Uh, at the start of this mission. Uh, 
and it is not 100% necessary but uh, for what we have we kind of have to uh, but we're gonna pop uh, Yogashi for this in order to do the skip I'm gonna use speed in gem right there just to set up our Umbrita meter it goes up to 80 gradually if you use a speed in gem we got another clay bell of Becorin. we're gonna actually use one of them in this mission for for the boss of this mission just to speed up the fight and make it a bit more consistent because he has quite a bit of hp um and yeah we're gonna do some more counseling just because we can we use two of this now we have a hundred and we're gonna do another council right here so you don't see it, but uh, those Dragon Gold Jewel, those are the Dragon Balls. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's fine. It, it is fine. Um, I kind of stopped in a, in a bad time. <laughs> it's okay. I'm actually going to use this just, be, just in case. Uh, I'm going to use the Summoner's Camel. Here, right there. You see the, the Dragon Ball on the, on the Dragon's mouth? That's the one. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna pop Joker shift and just skip this part. There we go. That saves like about um, twenty plus seconds. And yeah, we're gonna use Kasha to earn that. That's good. All right. Now, I'm not gonna skip this one because um, I'm actually more interested in doing some menu eats. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do some more level up. Yeah, some more leveling up, yes. We're gonna level up to 39 stamina. Oh, I know why I'm, uh, I was lower on... Yeah, it's because I, I have less anima... Not anima, I'm with items. Normally I would have like a Lumisite crystal to use earlier, but I, I didn't get any. Um, but yeah, we have another another uh, Dragon Ball to use right here. In this world we ha only have three instead of seven. And yet we're just gonna match Spinner while avoiding uh, the Cyclops. And over here, we're gonna use uh, this time to do a bit of menuing, change uh, Heaven and Earth to Stamina, then Masterful Slice, and I didn't do this. That's very slow, but it's okay, I'm just gonna take my time. Yeah, when was I supposed to do that? Oh, I know what happened, okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. All right. So we're gonna use uh, two large spirit stones. And we're gonna prepare to fight um, Shoot and Dodgy by using a clay bell of beckoning. Entering the fight. So yeah, the clay bell of beckoning summons a cat. This is very, very helpful. Okay, we're gonna do some Heaven and Earth right here. We're gonna do some Rumbling Earth to do some key damage. Some more Heaven and Earth. And we're gonna do some uh, Rumin Sukuna. More Heaven and Earth. And another one. There we go. I'm gonna pop the Yokai shift to grapple. And do some more Riven Sukuna. First counter that. Another one. Mario Mizukuna is pretty nice. 
time we finish the fight. Yeah. Alright. So this boss always drops a shoot and dodge club right here, as you can see. So that's very useful. And we're almost to the... Probably the longest mission in the game. Which is the Golden Castle. We're gonna fight um, three bosses that we have fought before. We have fought before, yes. Um, and then a, a final boss. So we're gonna fight an Enra, Jetsuno Kami, and Kasha. So you're gonna see the Kasha loop again. Feels good, man. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to use uh, Blood and Blood Fruit and three Spirit Stones. Man, we have just the necessary amount in Spirit, in spirit Stones. Alright. We're going to buff with Pyridae right at the start. The more heaven and earth. We don't want to get hit by that. Not the best RNG, but not terrible. Jatsu no Kami. Hope Joga Shift. Gonna charge attack. There we go. That finishes the fight. It didn't go exactly as planned, I kind of messed up a little bit. It's fine. Yeah, we're gonna be using uh, Jetsu no Kami to destroy a crystal. Next up. get this as run just in case so Yatsu no Kami is actually gonna be easier this time around or at least it should be uh, because of Kasha Kasha is so powerful against um, enemies who don't have a, a resistance to fire so yeah we're gonna do the same thing and enter and buff and get to him Heaven and Earth. Wait for an attack. Another Heaven and Earth, there we go. Okay. Now I can do some Kasha right there. We're gonna grapple. Then pop Joker shift. Rubble, some Kasha, now finish the fight, there we go. So yeah, normally you have to watch out every time that you defeat a, a boss here, because uh, there's enemies uh, following you, it's quite concerning. Okay, so we're gonna update our Jatsu no Kami. To the better one just to get a bit more of an edge on our next fights and yeah next up is kasha we're gonna do the same thing as before but it should be shorter even Not the best RNG, but it's it's fine. That's an Okami. Yokai shift. Slap. One, two, three. And we can do another slap to finish. We will need to grapple again.
Okay. I'm gonna wait a little bit here. There we go. That uh, Maratsu warrior is uh, not someone you want to mess with. <laughs> it's uh, it's longer to deal with him than the Lord. Okay, so we're gonna do that and flash attack. So flash attack is basically keep pulsing and then switching a uh, weapon. And the flash attack of a sword is really fast. So we take benefit from that. Switch to a slightly better axe. I'm gonna use some Jatsu no Kami. There we go. Some menuing to optimize this fight a little bit. There we go. The more mat spinner, the eye is the weak point. Um, I got a bit late there. There we go. So more match spinner. That's an Okami. And we're on to the second phase. Now we do not need to do the flash attack. And we do the same thing. As before, but we now um, I didn't explain it, but uh, in the dark realm, you actually get more um, anima than uh, when you're not in the dark realm. Like, for example, when you're hitting something, you get more anima. For example, I got uh, 0.5 right there, that wouldn't be so much in outside of the dark realm. So, I was a bit unlucky on the lasers. Lasers are the big um, time waste in this fight. Yeah, in this fight. Some more mud spinner, and we're gonna finish the fight. The setup here. There we go. Switch to uh, the Shirohami to speed it up a little bit. I'm gonna get Sorki. And we're actually gonna do damage boost stamina on the master, not masterful slice, <laughs> the uh, morning room. Yes. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get some items right here. I'm getting soul cores mainly for the proficiency, shifting proficiency. All right. So next up is the last mission of this region, before the final region, and we have some time for donations. <coughs> Alrighty, we have $100 from Lily that says, $100 for this amazing showing of one of my favorite games of all time. I am so happy to be able to be a part of this amazing event with all the amazing people here. We have $50 from the Soothsayer that says, Neo 2 is the best action game of its generation, and Axel decimates it with his high skill play. So skill, so wow. <laughs> Thank you, Soothie. Uh, yeah, one more. All right, we have $25 from Stoic Nod that says, Excited for a week of awesome games done quick and happy to see the community coming together to help the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Thank you so much for that. All right, so next up, we're going to break a rock. And if we die right after the rock, I'll restart the mission. Okay. We didn't die right after breaking the rock. Nice. Why did I say that? Um, if you die right after <laughs> right after breaking the rock uh this campus that we're gonna use and that are very very useful uh, just to say like if you don't have this campus uh, for these next fights the fights are really really bad like they are they are they are so bad to go against in the round um so yeah if uh, if that happens then those campus are not gonna appear so yeah, in that case, I would have to just restart the mission. But yeah, I'm careful to uh, for that to not happen ever. 
ever since it happened like uh, two or three times in the past. All right. So we're gonna get the first Scampus right here. And while I get the Scampus, I'm gonna get um, this right there. So now I have all of the shifting skills that I want, all the passives. And next up, I'm gonna actually not use Morning Moon to to break the next rock because it's, in my experience, it's uh, way too dangerous. So I prefer to just do this. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna level up, level up once again. There we go. On stamina. Stamina is the main stat for the axe, that's why I level it up. And we're gonna switch uh, from Shirohami to Makami. Because now enemies are actually not gonna get poisoned. Or they are har hardly gonna get poisoned. So it's more preferable to just get the benefits from Makami than from Shirohami. All right, so we're gonna fight Tokichiro again. That's gonna be fun. Uh, we're gonna take profit from the properties of uh, Titanic Shrine for this fight in order to uh, cheese his uh, parry spam. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's not the one that I wanted, but it's fine, it works. Okay, we're gonna pop Kasha, and hopefully, no, too slow. Okay, so not a good fight, uh, but don't worry, I can manage. The cats can also manage quite well. Okay, that's Tokichiro too. We're gonna buff with Purity. And we're gonna use another clay bell of Beckoning that will reset the buff from the from this campus and letting us uh, get the gang of the cats to be full with three cats. Come on. I'm waiting for him to do a specific attack that he always does. There we go. Some heaven and earth, and we're gonna grapple. There we go. It's gonna die now. There we go. And he has a second phase, but we're gonna do this. Pop Kasha, Joker shift, and start uh, doing some charge attacks and some Yokai skill spam. There we go. That's, uh, that deals with um, um, Kashin Koji, which uh, without this campus, uh, Kashin Koji is uh, pretty bad <laughs> to deal with. Okay, so we're on the last stretch of the run. We're going to the, to the last region, consisting of uh, two missions, two main missions. And before that, there's like a, a mission that uh, it doesn't really have any gameplay, it's just uh, cutscenes, so it's a good time for donations. Perfect. We have $50 from Umbra Witcher who says, Love seeing Neo2 open AGDQ. We have $250 from Drailer that says, every year I've been saving whatever money I get for Christmas and donating it to the first GDQ of the year. Happy to be able to keep this tradition going in 2022. Have a great week, everybody. All right, so now we're on to the last region, the seventh region. And if you have played or seen Neo One, you're gonna recognize this boss quite a lot. It's William, and we're gonna cheese William, that's for sure. Okay, we're gonna pop Yokai ship right there. 
We do not like uh, his shenanigans. There we go. Gonna do a strong attack, root counter, do a one attack. There we go. That's William. Uh, the, uh, the fight gets cut short because um, we're not actually the winners of that fight. In fact, uh, we're actually in that fight, we're controlled by. Um, the Otakemaru spirit, which is going to be the final boss in this next mission. And against Otakemaru, we're gonna we're gonna do the the same strat as before with the with the ball. And if everything goes well, I'm actually gonna skip his uh, second phase completely. So let's see if that happens. Can I use the Red Spire Lily. I will get there in just a moment. Um, one particularity of this boss is that um, if you start, like, whatever what, whatever Jokai form that you start with, like, for example, I have a Brute right now, he's gonna start with that one as well. So Brute is the more manageable one from all of the ones. Uh, personally, I think the Feral is the least manageable one. But some people say Phantom. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and start with Brute. And we're gonna hopefully keep uh, Brute. Okay, that was not ideal, but it's, it's fine. Skip the cutscene, buff with water. I'm gonna shoot him once and twice. One, two, three. There we go. That's an Okami. Ever on Earth. Rubble. Buff with Purity. From the Earth. Two. One, two. Maybe some other Jatsu no Kami. I'm gonna pop Yokai Shift and Grapple. Charge Attack. I'm gonna, gonna use another Jatsu no Kami usage right there. And we're gonna finish the fight as soon as possible. There we go. Let's skip the, the second phase. GG. Um, the fight will, well, the, the run will end in a few seconds when the screen goes black. So, let's see. Go forward. And three, two, one. Done. Alright. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed it um shout out to the neo community by the way and uh, shade and uh, galas Rene, which are two other main active runners uh, of the game and yeah hope you guys enjoy gdq uh i got really unlucky on many spots but uh i'm overall i'm kind of happy with my performance i guess <laughs> Um, yeah, we're, we're good to transition. Have a nice AGDQ, everyone. Bye-bye. Alrighty, thank you so much, Axel Sango, for that incredible showcase of Neo 2 Any% Percent Featherless. That was a fantastic run. If you want to check out more Neo 2, make sure you check out his Twitch channel. Before we move on, I would like to get to one donation. We have $500 from Dr. Awkward that says, I just learned this past week that a friend and mentor lost his fight with cancer. What a better way to honor his memory with helping others with their fight and with one of my favorite games as well, Neo 2. This donation is in honor of you, Ed, and shout outs to everyone involved with the marathon. Let's beat cancer. 
and what an incredible run to honor your friend. All righty, up next we have Metroid Prime Hunters, all items with Mr. Shasta. And it looks like that we did hit our donation incentive very quickly in traditional GDQ fashion. You all are just totally amazing. So after the Metroid Prime Hunters run, we will be also seeing a Metroid Prime Hunters first hunt run. And with that, let's hear what, from you all and see what you all have to say. We have $100 from Welzo that says, greetings from Germany. Let's kick cancer in the butt. We also have $100 from Waka Chow that says, I'm here in Korea watching GDQ. What could have been better than this? Have a wonderful week and save all the frames. We also have $25 from Malgarth that says, hello from Sweden. We gotta go fast to prevent cancer. Hope everybody at home are having a safe time. Thank you so much to all our global viewers for hanging out and donating. It's wonderful to hear from you all. I would actually like to take this opportunity to talk about one of our amazing sponsors. The Yeti is an awesome company that creates amazing merch, apparel, and vinyl for video games and pop culture. They have been supporting Games Done Quick for 10 years now with over $2 million donated to the GDQ charities. All profits from AGDQ 2022 collection go to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. And if you would like more information, check out theyeti.com. And with that, let's get into some more donations. We have 20... We have $20 from KCB that says, I look forward to this event every year. Keep up the great work. And with that, we have some more great runs coming up next, but first, here's a word from our sponsors. Don't go anywhere. AGDQ 2022 will be right back. Alrighty, welcome back to Awesome Games Done Quick 2022. Let's get into a couple more of these donations, shall we? We have $10 from Leah Chu that says, AGDQ, more like yay GDQ. Thank you so much for that. 
We have $50 from Uncle Gramps that says, good luck to all the runners and thanks to all the staff, hosts, and the tech team. Thank you so much for that. In fact, I think it's time that we hear from one of our favorite companies, the Yeti. We'll be playing a quick sponsored Alrighty, we have $10 from Linia19, who says, today's my birthday. And what could be a better day than AGDQ starting on my special day? Good luck to all the runners this week. Hey, chat, can we get a happy birthday for Leonia? We also have $25 from Bahamut that says, AGDQ hype? Got to get my $25 in for those DKC prizes. That's right, guys. When you turn in, when you, when you send in your donation, you have the option to win some amazing prizes. And our prize team has worked tirelessly to make sure they got some amazing stuff for you all. So make sure when you get your donations in, you check out what prizes you could also win. Alrighty, we have $25 from Demetrius that says, this year, let's give cancer the game over. We have a $50 donation from Wannabees that says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Happy AGDQ, everyone. We have an anonymous $250 donation that said, my dad beat stage three colon cancer this past year. Thanks to, thanks to some truly amazing treatment and detection methods. Shout out to the incredible work of the Prevent Cancer Foundation and a huge thank you to GDQ staff for the runners and the runners for making such a wonderful event possible. Thank you so much for that donation. Alrighty, we have $50 from Echo025 that says, let's complete the all bonus games unlock challenge. Speaking of, we're about, to get, we're about to get into our first interview where they will be discussing our first bonus run, Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. Here's Spike Vegeta and Apache Smash. Take it away, y'all. And thank you so much, Casper, for kicking it over for what our first of many, I'm sure, amazing interviews throughout the week here at Awesome Games Done Quick 2022 online. Want to give a big shout out to Axel there for getting us kicked off right with that amazing run of Neo 2, the first of well over 100 amazing speedruns that we'll be having throughout this week. Again, we will be trying to work our way towards 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, and possibly beyond in donations supporting the Prevent Cancer Foundation. And how can we get there? Well, here's a novel way to get us there. Let's watch someone beat a video game without them watching the game at all. And for that, I am joined by Apache Smash, who for 25,000 of your dollary dues will play through Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance, the tanker portion of the run, in under 15 minutes without ever looking at the screen. Apache, how are you doing, my friend? I'm excellent. Thank you for having me at GDQ again. It's wonderful to be here. Yeah, how's it doing up there in Canada, I think, is the screen I'm looking at right now. Looking <laughs> yeah, pretty cold. In, yeah, it's in uh, freezing cold England. 
<laughs> loving loving the background we got right here i first want to just get into obviously talking about this is the first of two blindfolded showcases that we're going to be showing off here at hdq this week and i want to ask you here Gear solid 2 a game i never even knew people had done blindfolded runs for where did the inspiration for this come from I saw a Bubsia, who's a phenomenal blindfolded speedrunner. He was talking on a podcast and he mentioned that he did Metal Gear Solid 3 and, uh, you know, the Virtuous mission. So I was like, how, how could that be possible? You know, I run the Metal Gear games. So I went and watched his run and then I started to think about blindfolded speedruns and what I could do. I played two for so long. So um, I just wanted to give it a try. And the tanker was a good place to start. Yeah. So let's now, I guess, go through the journey because I think a lot of us probably over the years watching all these like challenge runs, hit list, blindfolded, one hand, all this stuff. You start to think with your speed game, I wonder if I could do that. And I want to ask you what kind of your journey was in this. What were the hardest hurdles for you to overcome? Even the simplest ones when you jumped into this. Yeah, so it's only it's only a short portion of the game. It's the, the tanker chapter. Um, but there is such an amount of difficult things to get through blindfolded so the the first boss was really challenging she can spawn on the left or the right at the start of the fight so i had to come up with a strategy depending on which side she was on just to begin with and then obviously deactivating the semtex if you fail to do it you blow up the you blow up the entire tanker and you have oh, to God. start again so it's a very precise little box that you have to hit and then at the end of the at the end of the tanker chapter you have to sneak through three holds filled with marines and if you get seen at all um, it will give you a game over. So that was that was really challenging. Um, just just a lot of very difficult rooms that I had to come up with straps for. Well, so to clarify about this run, it sounds like it's not just a blindfolded run. It's short here, but it's extremely punishing. There are ways to lose potentially all of or at least most of your progress here. Yeah, so you if you get it's divided in rooms. So if you fail to do a room, you blow up a you blow up the bridge, uh, you blow up the boat, for example. Uh -huh. You have to start the room again and and try again. Um, but because, uh, it, it, say for example, if you mess up the boss fight, you have to um, get cause a game over by throwing yourself off the level. Um, oh so no! The, 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 <laughs> yeah, there's there's plenty of stuff like that. It's very punishing for mistakes. Mm -hmm. And even honestly watching blindfold runs, even knowing how to reset a room, how to say, okay, I got to get off this boat somehow, knowing backups like that, how to get that accomplished. I think it's amazing to watch how people have routed out this challenge, but also the fact that this is not, you're not going through this slowly. This segment of the run, you're going to be taking out on, I believe, eight plus minutes is your PD you were talking about earlier. Yeah, it's an 820 and the, the sighted run, I think, is a, is a low five minute time and that that's the world wow. record cited so it's not that much different really so i want to talk to you a little bit about like looking at your speedrun.com page obviously you are a big fan of the metal gear solid series you are an amazing speedrunner of them and i would say most prominent your resume is chock full of metal gear solid 3 so i have to ask for all the people out there who are big snake eater fans do you see yourself not seeing that game in the future <laughs> with one of these challenges yeah, I've been I've been doing routing on Metal Gear Solid Three blindfolded. Um, I'm doing the blindfold the category I call blindfolded boss fights. So I play through the game and and you know lose the ability to look during the boss fights. I'm doing that at the next ESA event as well. Oh, wow! I do intend to route the entire game blindfolded, but as you can imagine, it's the full thing. So it's the, it, it takes time to to work it all out. That's so. That sounds amazing. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for, for promoting that. Again, you'll be running that at ESA coming up as well. Another amazing speed running marathon over in Europe. I do want to kick it back up to the front soon for Casper. Again, guys, we're trying to raise literally millions of dollars for the Prevent Cancer Foundation this week. And in just about five speed runs from now, we want this run to get slotted in. Need to reach $25,000. The last time I just checked, I believe we were coming up on $7,000. So we got a ways to go. But I believe in you chat we can do it let's watch apache not watch mgs2 let's do this chat all right kick it back over to casper i hope you all enjoy metroid prime hunters by mr shasta later gamers
Thank you guys so much for that wonderful interview and please get in your donations for the Metal Gear Solid run. It's going to be amazing. Get your dollar dues in, as Spike says. Before we jump into our next run here, we're gonna read a couple more donations. We have a poem. We have $10 from Six Pop that says, on this bright early morning of AGDQ, I have a hankering for some MGS2. But not the whole game, all I need is a taste, something to put a shocked look on my face, a blindfolded tanker run that sounds like a blast. I would love an appearance by the great Apache Smash. 